Can we be chimps mod using only storms? Yeah, actually storms. And you would be surprised. I was actually surprised uh, of how many upgrades in the game actually have the word storm in them. So let me walk you guys through them. Number one is the snowstorm. We have the glue storm. We have operation. Let me just skip to these guys. We have operation dart storm, <laughs> which is number three. Uh, the darling has rocket storm. We have we have two with the druid. It's druid of the storm, and then the super storm. And then am I missing something? I, I feel like I'm missing one more. Oh yeah, the spike storm. That's like number six. And then Quincy, his level 10 ability is actually called Storm of Arrows. So I actually created a challenge, but I didn't kind of finish it. So I need to add the glue storm into this one. So let me just do it like this. And let's see if we can beat Chinsmo by using only storm. So let me do the glue gunner. Let's restrict this thing. Let's do it like this. It's only going to be a glue storm. So I'm going to do it like this. We can only use uh, this upgrade. And then the cross pass is going to be a 252. And let's see if we can beat Chimps mode using only storms. Okay, so first off, we are probably going to need a Quincy start. I chose Dark Path because I wanted to kind of have a little bit of a more of a difficult map. I would say this is not that difficult. It's probably on the, I guess if you would put it on the spectrum of advanced maps, this would be kind of like an easier advanced map. But I still kind of wanted to have something that is not just straightforward in which we just go for like the, the super storm. <laughs> we just buy this thing and like chill, like we buy a couple of upgrades and then they defend and then we buy, you know, the super storm and it's game over after we buy it so i kind of wanted to have a little bit of more more things happening so i thought that this one dark man would be actually a good choice so first off quincy survives until we can get the druid because the druid is the next cheapest thing that we can buy but then the thing is we are going to need enough money to uh, basically remove one of these so where am i placing the druid this is going to be a super storm druid hopefully hopefully it's going to be a super storm druid because that thing is super expensive and this is looking like it's mostly going to be an ability based run. let me actually have where am i having this like I would say towards the left side, like this. That would be better, I think. Yeah, there we go. Let's actually, you know what? We can do some some sort of a condition in which we can say something like, we must buy all of the storm upgrades in a single game. Is that even possible? Like, can we afford all these guys? I mean, this is, how much is this? Like four point, well, I feel like we might be able to do that with the exception probably of the super storm because that thing is, it's kind of, it's it's kind of floating in the air. I'm not sure about the super storm, but we can buy every single one of these guys. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so let's do it like this. Let me get the heart of thunder. This is going to be the druid of the storm and I'm thinking which cross path I want to get. I mean, probably the the range i would say just because i kind of wanted to attack here because this is where if you see how the balloons go like this top track is is probably the one that i would want this thing to hit so let me let's see if it's gonna reach in the first place i hope it does i hope it does let's get the you know what while we're here let's get the heart of vengeance why not and this is gonna be a little bit of let popping power as well so this is kind of a, a nice start i would say so yeah let's let's say we want to buy all all possible storms in the game how are we going to do that what's the order well, Rocket Storm is probably going to be the first one that I want to buy just because it's it's extra damage, but also the tower itself, it's got a very strong auto attack, like it, it has very strong projectiles, so I would probably want to do that, so let me do it like this, and let's work towards getting this, so I would really like to fit two towers, so, so I want to fit four towers in total, so this is number one, I want to have one more over here, and then I want to have two towers here at the top as well. So, how do I want to have this? I mean, this is really not the placement for any of these guys, I'm going to be honest, but... Okay, so I'm going to have to use Quincy's ability, I guess, for this one. So, let's see if this is going to be enough to clean this thing. Oh my god, it's the same thing. Is it time for a glue? I feel like it might be. Let's just try and have the glue over here, and then I want to save this bottom spot for an ice tower. So, let's have it like this, and this is probably going to be... What's the glue going to be? Like a a bottom path i feel like so maybe if we do it like this it should be fine or at least a little bit better i'm not sure if this thing is actually oh my god that was very close see the thing is i'm not sure if the bottom path is like i i guess you don't you no longer need the top path in order for it to affect mob class moves but then again like this thing only affects like three layers so how good is it actually i don't know so we got a little bit of camel detection of the dark thing that's very nice Let's get the extra pierce, I guess, and then what are we saving money for? Oh my god, look at that dark thing. That's so sad, watching it attack into the wall. <laughs> I mean, you know what? Getting the pierce is probably the better one, but this is just going to be so sad, especially when we get the rocket storm. So I'm kind of thinking, what are we doing for the Moab, actually? Yeah, this glue is actually making you think nowadays, because do you want to have it? Do you want to have the blues being slowed more, or do you want to... Oh my god, it's the same thing. It's a green and a red blue, and again, like, 28. Okay, let me fix this. Let me get a spike. So let's have the spike over here. I want to have it here towards the back, but I also want to have a little bit of the spike uh, 
just throw some spikes here on the track because I want to have the mob shredder, I guess. I don't know, like we're nearing round 40 and I'm still not sure what I want to do because the Hydro Rocket pods, that is not the ability. So the ability is the fourth tier, the Rocket Storm, and that is, that's very expensive. It's like, it's like another 5k, I think. Let me just check the price. It's 6k. Oh my god, that's super expensive. We're not going to have this for round 40. So maybe we could do the Druid of the Storm when we pop it so that it blows back the ceramics. That's going to be nice. Oh my god, did I just... Wait a minute, did I just play myself? Am I going to create a Rego farm? Yeah, that might not have been good. I think it's going to be fine. So it's round 39. The, the has, oh my god. I probably shouldn't have bought this thing. It's round 39. It, it's going to have like two Rego rainbows at, at the back of it. So hopefully this doesn't create too much issues. And let's save up the money and see what we can do for round 40. But this is basically what I wanted to do. Like I wanted to blow back the ceramics and buy some time for us. So Quincy is level 8. That's nice because the arrows now do triple damage to mob class balloons. Let's see how we're going to do versus this thing. I mean, we can still upgrade the spike. We can probably afford the mob share, which is going to pop the... Uh, yeah, this is 39. Okay, let's let's just be careful. So I, I, maybe I wanted to go for the middle pad, but it seems like it's fine. Okay, so let's buy the mob share. Oh my god, look at the money. 255. And so this should pop the mob layer, and now this is going to blow them back. I mean, it's going according to plan. Yes, it is. That's amazing. That's beautiful. That's a, that's a very uh, unsuspecting combo. The Moab Shredder and the Druid of the Storm. How often do you see that thing? I mean, not a lot, honestly. Okay, let me use Quincy's ability. This is starting to get dicey when all these ceramics are appearing. I know that this Druid is blowing them back, but I don't feel safe at all. And I also know that we're going to have some, some regular balloons incoming. So the first Storm that I want to buy... Actually, no, this isn't the first one. This is the first one they bought. It's the Druid of the Storm. But I want to buy the Spike Storm. I just want to have like a button to click. I'm going to get the White Hot Spikes as well. And I just want to have like a button to click just to kind of, you know, if anything happens with these Regular Balloons, I could just click that thing and it's going to be fine. At least before Quincy gets to level 10. Let me get... Where do I want to have the Ace? I think... You know what? I, I don't even think that we care. So this is going to be like... Something like this, probably get the pineapple, you know what, get the spy plane as well, doesn't really matter. And that was the, I don't think we cared about the flight path, honestly, because this is just going to be like a, there we go, this is the third storm that we buy, by the way. This is just going to be just damage versus mob class balloons. Okay, so 49 incoming, I do have the spike storm ability, but I'm going to chill as much as possible. And I say that and I can see, no, no, they are entering the spikes, so let's use the ability. And yeah, we're absolutely lacking damage. These storms, man, they, like, you know what? It sounds good on paper, but it's actually probably, yeah, they're actually leaking. Oh my god. Okay, so let's try and fix this with Quincy's ability. So I use the ability and hopefully these guys can hold on for the ceramics. And then I want to have the spike storm for the, uh, oh my god, it's so close. No, that was super close. I think they held, actually. You see this spike pile where my cursor is? That's the spike pile that survived <laughs> all these ceramics. So that's very good because now we can have the spike storm for these regrows. So use it now, wipe everything, and there we go. That's amazing. And it's time for storm number four, I think this is going to be. So we have another ability ready to go. Again, this is not going to be... Actually, you know what? Even though we have the bomb crosspad, this is probably going to be like, like the perfect map for this ability because the space is very tight, so all the projectiles are going to hit. So I don't think it's that bad. But let's get the ball lightning next. I feel like we have to get ready for round 63 and probably, you know, these next few rounds with a lot of ceramics onto them. So let me get the ball lightning and start getting ready for the super storm. Is that going to be the next one or do we want to get something else? So maybe like, I don't know, maybe like some freeze to kind of stop the balloons for a second and maybe set them up for another ability or something like that. And round 59. Wait, what is our camel let popping? So it's going to have to be deep. This thing, the rocket storm, and then a little bit. I, I think Quincy has a little bit because he has this explosive shot that he, he shoots every third arrow, and then this thing a little bit, but I think we want to rely on the spike factory. So this is the BFB incoming, and this thing, the ODS, is actually going to do a little bit of damage. This is going to be, it's not going to be that useful later on, but it's, it's it's a nice tower to have. Like, like, let me just put it like this. This is like one of my favorites for half cash and deflation because it's so cheap and does a lot of more class damage, especially, you know, before free play starts rolling in. And then we're going to have some other issues. Okay, so 62 is rolling in, and I'm kind of trying to save a little bit of money. And that is because I'm thinking of either buying the glue or I just, I just kind of want to see how we're going to do versus John. 63 because we do have and you know in theory we do have ways to deal with the entire round so we have the spike storm for one ceramic wave the rocket storm for the second one and then the storm of arrows for the third one but that you know it sounds nice but i'm not sure if it's going to work in theory so let me just start by using wait this thing blew the entire ceramic wave what is happening what is happening with this tower with the ball lightning i mean i know that i it blew the entire wave what what 
<laughs> Why is this blowing everything? I mean, this is not gonna... Yeah, yeah, we're not gonna lose to this. It's just... Look at this. That's the entire wave. It's gone. It's back. It's towards the back. Okay, this tower is so good versus versus small balloons. Yeah, I know that I tested this actually, but I did uh, a little bit of a... Well, it wasn't an unfair test, but what I did was... If you guys have watched that video, it was from a while back. I think it was from a month ago. And I bought the ball lighting and I super buffed it. <laughs> it came out to be very strong. It actually, it was defending like well into the 90s by itself. It was ridiculous. But I didn't know that an unbuffed ball lighting is actually this good. I mean, it, it completely destroys all these non warp class balloons. You know what it's missing? It's missing a little bit of camo detection. It's missing a little bit of attack speed. Maybe an alchemist. But that is not something that we can do. But you know what? Maybe we can do a test with this thing on Chimps mode in the future. So take a look at this combo. The ODS pops all the mob class balloons. And then the leftovers just get blown back by the Druid. What a combo this is. And the Spike Storm also helps a little bit. If you're missing some mob class damage, you can just use the ability. This is a very nice combo. This is like a like an unsuspecting combo. Something that I think I mentioned this with the Spike Storm and the Druid. But it's also an unsuspecting combo with the ODS as well. And I think that we have to, so our camo detection is, nope, never mind. I, I was going to use an ability, but it seems like we're holding on. And the way that these rounds are going, you know, we're making a lot of money. So I'm kind of starting to think if we want to start saving up for the super storm or are we trying to buy some other storms? So I feel like that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to save up money and play with all these abilities. And then if if things are getting a little bit dicey, then we're probably going to have to abandon the idea and just go for for some smaller towers. But I really do hope that we can buy the Superstorm and kind of see it on Chimps mode in action. Okay, so this is where things are starting to get a little bit more interesting because it's round 75. And on round 75, well, you know how things go. Things are starting to have a lot more RB. And so the goal for this round is to actually save the Storm of Arrows because if we don't save it around 76, we're going to create a regrowth farm with this Druid. So we have to be very careful with the abilities, how we're using them. And I feel like this blowback is not exactly doing us... Oh, I'm going to use a Rocket Storm. Let me just try and micro it and how how much micro is possible in this tight area. Let's use the Rocket Storm as well. And this should be fine. I mean, things are kind of going out, but... Oh, yeah, we defended. Okay, that was nice. I mean, it's nice because I, I kind of... I, I lost. I, I retried this round and I lost. But this is basically what I was trying to do. I was trying to save the Storm of Arrows because... If we don't use the Storm of Arrows right there, then that's just a regrow farm. And it's gonna have we're gonna have a problem on, on 79 as well, I feel like. But let's let's think about 79 when the time comes. So if we can beat 79, we are going to have closer to I would say fifty thousand dollars, maybe something like now. Actually, maybe it's gonna be like 45 or something like that. And then that's gonna be very cool because it's only three to four rounds after that and we're gonna be able to afford the super storm. So, I mean, I'm saying that and it's kinda, yeah, it's leaking. Oh my God, it's barely leaking. It's like a couple of red blues. All right, so round 77 seems to be where this setup has found its match finally. We have to be very careful how we pop these BFBs. So I'm gonna use the spike storm immediately before the all of these BFBs have appeared. And that doesn't seem like it was a good idea. I mean, maybe we can... So, so I'm trying to kind of pop them one by one, just to not overwhelm our defenses. But our defenses are overwhelming themselves because this druid is blowing everything back. <laughs> so let's use the rocket storm and hopefully this is enough. No, that's that's barely not enough. I'm 100% certain that this round is possible with the abilities and the towers that we have. It's just, I guess, layering them and, and just kind of using them correctly. And maybe a little bit of RNG with the blowback from the druid. So let's... Oh my god, everything popped. I mean, I'm just going to use everything. I don't know. Let's just... That's that's a mess. I didn't want for, for that to happen, but uh, is that all it takes? Honestly, like it just everything kind of sort of popped thanks to the ODS and I just used all of the abilities at, at the same time and we won like what? Okay, I mean, I mean I'm absolutely gonna take that. So here's what we do for this one I'm going to use Quincy Storm of Arrows and then the thing is with this specific cooldown is that you want to use it a little bit earlier because by the time that this thing, it, it's perfect. You guys, if you haven't noticed this one, it's going to be perfect. So by the time that this cooldown comes out, that is the exact moment at which the second ceramic wave with 78 is going to come out as well. So let me use the, uh, let me use the level three ability and just watch this thing. So watch the cooldown. The cooldown is about to, is about to end. And now you're going to see, there it is, is the ceramic wave, this, the camo ceramic wave incoming. And there we go. We just use the ability for it. Wait a minute. Before this round ends, is this even a good idea because we're gonna have 79 with a bunch of regrows you know what it, it, it i hope it is <laughs> let's, let's let's just hope it is i mean i do have a solution if this thing creates a regrow farm but i hope it doesn't but i do have a solution it's creating a regrow farm okay yeah that's that's not good 
Okay, so my solution is doing this. It's getting a Druid of the Storm, which because, well, I don't want to have it to the Druid of the Storm, but it needs to be a storm. And I'm just going to have it as a 3-2-0. And then if this thing doesn't help that much in de regrowing these guys, then I'd be, I'm would i just going to buy more. <laughs> like, that's, that's the plan that I have for this thing. So uh, I hope that this single guy hits enough balloons so that he de regrows uh, at least a small portion of them. And, and hopefully that's enough so it doesn't create a regrow farm. So that's the plan for this one. Let's use the Spike Storm ability. You know, these abilities are going to help out a little bit as well. So maybe we want to be careful how we're using them, but at the same time, like, yeah, this guy's blowing back. I'm really not. Yeah, I'm gonna use the Rocky Storm now. Yeah, this is gonna be a, a tough round if we. Uh, well, hopefully we get the first try. But this is yeah, this is basically the plan that I have. And if it doesn't work out, I'm just gonna buy more of these guys of, of the regrows because we are allowed to get cross paths. And uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, this, <laughs> this actually worked. I got a three to zero guy, and it actually worked. It de regrows everything, but that's fine. I, I really like this solution because it didn't cost us a lot of money, so that's that's a huge plus for us. Are we saving the Rocket Storm? Like, what's the plan? We're very close to the Super Storm. It's sixty four point eight. So, I don't know. Oh, you know what? It's looking like we might have to use the Rocket Storm. Yeah, let me just use it just in case. I just not risk it. It's, it's going to come off cooldown. We have the money to buy more abilities if we need to. But at this point, like we're just so close to Super Storm. I just don't want to do it. So, we're entering a time in the game in which we basically don't have enough damage to deal with these Super Ceramics. And there's actually no way for us to... Like, there's no storm that's going to allow us to do that unless we're spamming abilities or something like that. So... We actually just have to rely on abilities and hope that that's enough until we can get the Superstorm. And then when we get it, it's not like the Superstorm is going to solve our problems. It's just going to blow back harder. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing it's going to do. I mean, it has innate camel detection, so it's going to be nice versus DDTs and kind of keeping the rounds in place and stuff like that. They just keep using the abilities. We're very close to it. We are missing about $10,000, which I know it sounds like a lot, but it's only like a couple of rounds. So let me use Quincy's level 3. Quincy is blasting. I mean, Quincy is... He, he's going to get a third arrow, which is going to happen around uh, level... Uh, what was it? It's like level 19. And that's that's kind of close, honestly. Let's... Let me wait. No, that's there's no waiting. Let me just use the Rocket Storm. And let's... Are we using the, the other one? The Storm of Arrows? I don't want to. I hope the Rocket Storm survives. The Rocket Storm ended. All these balloons are getting blown back. And then it's only these guys. Please pop them. Then blow them back. Nice. Oh my god. Nope. Okay, so this is the second attempt. Let's do the good old strategy of just using everything at once. So I'm using the Rocket Storm. I use the Spike Storm. And hopefully, hopefully everything goes well. I mean, this Druid is blowing them back. And you know what? This guy at the back is blowing back a little bit as well. So yeah, the strategy of just brute forcing, it, it, it just works, guys. <laughs> that's, that's the way the things go. You just brute force it. And it seems to, yeah, it seems to be working. This guy seems to be holding him. Yeah, there we go. Round 83, a bunch of ceramics. We're going to have a huge mob wave incoming. But I think that we can deal with mobs, actually. The mobs should not be that much of an issue although i say that let me use the spike storm let's use quincy's level 3 ability quincy is level 17 so a couple more levels until we get to that that three arrows upgrade but this is fine it's looking it's actually looking good we're well on our way to get the super storm so this next round 84 we should have it i think all right so let's not mess this thing up let me use the spike storm and the rocket storm and i'm gonna blast with these abilities just because i kind of want to get to the super storm as soon as possible and boom there it is. We got the Superstorm. Okay, so let's see how good this thing is now. Is it going to be able to hold off these waves by itself? I hope it does. I really hope it does. And we're going to need some extra damage. So the thing that this thing is, is good, I guess this Storm strategy kind of synergizes with itself in, in the fact that the Superstorm is going to blow back and it's going to buy time for our abilities because it's mostly an ability-based strategy. So, yeah, that, that doesn't sound that bad, actually. You know, the problem that I'm seeing is that this popping these guys is going to take forever. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna get another Operation Dark Storm actually. This is just gonna be like a 410 just because we're not. I don't wanna spend the 380. I know that we have a bunch of money, but I'm just not spending the 380. Oh yeah, look at this Super Storm go. It just blows everything back to the start. Look at this thing. So many ball lightnings and small lightning attacks. Yeah, that's amazing. Let's see how it does versus these 45 ones. It's gonna blow everyone back, isn't it? Yeah, look at that tornado. And the AoE, the, the radius is just huge on this thing. And just a million storms. I know that this is not like the perfect line, but when it it kind of it kind of goes down this line, like where the track goes, it, it just gets everyone like this thing. Yeah, it's just gonna blow back everything. Yeah, that's amazing. So let's get the glue strike and and I guess trying to save money for the glue storm and kind of think about what we're doing versus DDT. So I feel like this thing because it has innate count detection, it's gonna blow back these DDTs. 
I'm just not sure about the damage because we can hold them in place, but are we popping them? That's the question. And I need to let me, you know what? I'm just going to keep using the glue. So I'm just to get like plus whatever small damage amount it gets just to kind of speed these rounds up a little bit because we're not struggling with the damage. Uh, well, not on this specific round. So I'm just going to keep using the abilities and then let's see what happens on 93 because again, we can blow back these DTs, but I'm not sure if we have enough damage to pop them. So look at that. Yeah, it's blowing them back. And then it is, oh yeah, it's popping them. So what's popping them? I think it's just this thing. It's just the Superstorm popping it by itself because Quincy cannot damage these guys and neither can, well, I think this thing can damage them, but it's like very small amounts of damage and then maybe the the Spike Storm. Yeah, I don't think Spike Storm is doing anything. Okay, 94, huge round, a lot of RB on this one. Let me use the Glue Strike first as we're saving up money for the Glue Storm, although I don't want to buy it. So I'm kind of, you know, I'm, I'm kind of scared for 95. So I'm just going to save the money. And then if we're doing well on 95, then I'm going to buy the Glue Storm. Or, you know, if we're not doing well, then I'm just going to buy more Spike Storms. But we do have the money for it. So let's... Oh my god, everything is just getting blown back. Look at this tower. It's so insane. Yeah, nothing is even making it. Like, that, that was... In... Was that the entire round? Yeah, that was the entire round. Where did it go? <laughs> okay, so we do have the money for the Glue Storm. And this is the thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to buy this thing. And then as soon as the DTs come out, I'm going to use it. That's going to enable Quincy to attack them. And then hopefully, yeah, so I guess, so look at this tornado. It's going up towards the, I guess, towards the left side. And it's just not getting all those DTs. So though, it's not like we're struggling to, to keep them in place. Yeah, it's actually keeping everything in place. This tower is insane. This is, it's not even an optimal spot, but it's like blowing them back. And it's slowly popping them. And that was around 95. This tower is insane. Okay, so let's continue with our quest. We have one more storm to buy. And that is the snowstorm. So I'm going to have it over here. I want to have this. Ice radius, slow back, slow the balloons and just affect them a little bit. So this snowstorm seems to be doing a lot of the work by itself. Let me just help it out a little bit. Do we, do we buy every single storm? So ODS, we got the, let me do a checkup like this. We got the snowstorm, we got the glue, we got the ODS, we got the rocket storm, we got the super storm. And then the, the um, what is it called? The spike storm. Yeah, that's it. So we got everything. Oh yeah, look at these guys. These guys have a million HP and they're just going to get stalled forever. Like these ODSs, they're actually helping a little bit. I know they're just like fourth year aces, but they are actually helping a little bit and just getting these rounds down as fast as possible. So I'm going to save all of these abilities and I do want to do one more thing. So round 100 because you guys know that this thing can blow back everything except bad balloons. Well, bad balloons and bosses, but it's not blowing back bad balloons. So we are going to need to do extra damage to this to this boss. So that's why I'm going to get one more spike storm. This is just going to be like a chill, like like a 140 spike. Oh, 98. Let's see what we do on 98. So I'm going to buy one more of these guys, and I think that's going to be enough, like two of them. But let's see how we do on 98. Let me use the glue storm ability, and let's use... Do we want to do everything? I think I want to save like one of these abilities. Like maybe... What are we saving? Like maybe I'm going to save the Ice ability for 99 just to be safe because they're 45 TDTs. But other than that, let me use Quincy's ability. Let me just have Quincy. How is Quincy doing with the damage? Not that much, honestly. Not that much. Even though we've had him from the start. Let's use the Glue Storm again. And this thing should come off cooldown for... Oh yeah, it's 100% going to come off. I, I was going to say it should come off cooldown for around 100. But it's like... I mean, look at how this round is going. Everything is just glued and everything's being pushed back. Yeah, this Superstorm is, is kind of winning the game by itself. Although, how much damage is this thing? 900? It's got a million damage. We bought it in round 84, I think. It's got a million damage. Yeah, this thing is winning by itself. Round 99. Let me get the Spike Storm. And this should come off cooldown for round 100. And let's just see how we do. Let me just use the other one. Let me use the, as soon as all the ADs come out. So let me use this thing, kind of slow them in place. Just get the glue storm ability up and running. And oh yeah, so you can definitely see. I mean, we're going to pop them, but you can definitely see a difference between 45 and normal DDTs. Yeah, for sure. And then it's round 100. The glue storm carried over. So let's use both of these guys, both of the spike storm abilities. And then when this thing pops, which is going to be in the middle, <laughs> those DDTs, they immediately got pushed back to the start. So let's use the glue storm ability again. And let's actually use all of our storm abilities. And let's do it like that. Let's freeze everything. And then the storm of arrows finally. And I used everything. Is this going to be fine? Yeah, it's going to be fine. We, we have one more round of the spike storms. And that's it. That's it. We actually beat Chance Mode by using only Storms. Let's just pop some of these towers. So Quincy 341, he got a lot of pops towards the end. This thing 0, obviously. This thing 119, you know, a little bit, you know, he's got the very best spot. He's shooting the wall, so that's, that's kind of expected. This guy, the one that, that saved us around 79, 46,000 pops, and then the, the oh yeah, look at these guys. This is so much damage. It's actually two of them. It's like 410, and they both cost like, what, like $6,000, something like that. 
Look at the amount of damage that these guys did. And solely, this one is is like 90% of this damage is like more class damage. That's insane. And then the spike storms, it's like it's like 100k combined. And then this thing, the rest of the pops, it has almost a million pops by itself. The superstorm. But yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next one.